Hello and welcome back to another edition of Spotlight on Newcastle County, which features news both within and without Newcastle County, Delaware. I'm your host, Melody Kitchen. You never know who we're going to talk to or where we're going to visit. Today we're putting the spotlight on Gladys Spikes from Housing Opportunities of Northern Delaware. Thank you for being here today, Gladys. Now, can you tell us a little bit about Hans 33rd Annual Fair Housing and Observation or Observance and Awards Luncheon? Yes, I'd be more than happy to. First, I would like to say thanks for the opportunity of speaking to all the constituents about Certainly. how important it is that we observe Fair Housing Month. And this is a culmination of all the events that we've had for this month. Mm -hmm. It will be, um, we'll be honoring Honorable Thomas P. Gordon and he's going to be receiving a prestigious award, which is the Andrew F. Turner Award. And the reason why we've selected him is because of all the work that he's done over his last tenure here at uh, in Newcastle County in terms of providing new innovative housing programs, as well as uh, making sure that the neighborhoods that looked like they were going to go down, they're now even and they're moving up. Oh, wow. um, one of the examples of what he's done is mm -hmm. he's uh, provided um, the leadership for the IDEA program. And I'm not going to okay. tell you what the acronyms are, but it's a great program because uh, over a, a survey, 21 communities in Newcastle County have been identified as areas where families unfortunately lost their homes mm -hmm. uh, through foreclosure or just walked away from their homes because they didn't think that they would be able to save Salvage them. Salvage it. Yeah, save them. Um, there are houses available and down payment settlement assistance to help them to help first time home buyers to come mm -hmm. into those neighborhoods and revitalize them. Absolutely. So that's one of the things that he's done. Also, um, Newcastle County has been very supportive since its beginning because we were created by Newcastle County and the right. city of Wilmington. And the reason why was so that the funds for the community development block grant funds could be allocated to those two entities. And they require, uh, HUD required that uh, an fair housing advocacy agency should uh, uh, be created. Sure, that, and that makes sense. Right, and so the fair housing luncheon came about because of our founder, Leon N. Wiener Associates, um, was very instrumental in creating housing opportunities and he was a real advocate for housing. Sure. He had a, a phrase that he would always use, um, housing, housing and more housing. <laughs> and so as a result of that, um, we have been very, um, we've worked very closely with uh, Newcastle County in terms of providing the housing counseling services sure. uh, to your constituents in terms of um, saving their homes. Actually, that is one thing I wanted to ask you. What are some of the assistance programs that, that Hond is involved with? Okay, well, we provide housing counseling and fair housing counseling. Mm -hmm. On the fair housing counseling side, we've received calls from the Newcastle County Community Services Department mm -hmm. in terms of some uh, Section 8 <coughs> families that were trying to rent an apartment and mm -hmm. they ran into some kind of housing discrimination case. Mm. Uh, we've also trained and taught uh, many of the employees about the importance of understanding the fair housing law as they go out to do their work sure. so that if anyone comes to them and says that they feel they've been discriminated they would know where to go. Sure. Yeah. Um, and we also provide a fair housing law forum. Um, we've had 19 of them on all different kinds of um, concerns. Um, we were very supportive of the workforce housing uh, which was um, was presented by uh, Honorable Penrose Hollins. Right, this past and he year. actually doesn't, I don't think he refers to it as workforce housing so much as affordable housing or fair housing. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, and the, um, I'm sorry. I mean, because of that, we were able to um, support him with that. And we Absolutely. have two families that are going through that program. So we're really excited oh, about that's that. Oh, that's awesome. So this, this luncheon, um, you know, is awarding Thomas P. Gordon with the Andrew Turner Award. Can you tell us what the Andrew Turner Award is? Yes. Um, Andrew Turner and Andrew Taylor were two individuals who brought the Fair Housing Law to Delaware. Mm -hmm. um, the, fair, the first Fair Housing Law was passed in 1968 and in 1992 
um, after many years of working, well, actually, Andrew Turner was um, the director of the Division of Human Relations during that time. And we felt that we needed to expand the, the law to cover more protected groups. Sure. And that's how we got, uh, we have, we should be very proud of our state because we have 12 protected classes as opposed to the uh, seven or eight that the, the United States has. Which so, is interesting because we're such a small state. I know. So that if you uh, had a discrimination case of, like for marital status mm -hmm. or um, sexual gender or sexual identity, I sure. should say, or sexual orientation, mm -hmm. um, you're covered here in the state of Delaware. But if you were to go to another state, that might not be true. Oh, well, so, that's, that's pretty incredible, So actually. that's why um, we feel that he was like, sort of like the, you know, one of the co-founders of a, a very important law that Absolutely. we need to use. Now, I did want to also ask, and I, I asked, I um, have discussed this before, what is Han's idea of the American dream of home ownership? I know that um, on your website there's a foreclosure sign that reads, nothing's worse than doing nothing. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I can tell you about the sign first. I'll tell you about the sign sure. first. And that simply means that a lot of our, our Newcastle residents don't know that there is a place where you can go and get help uh, mm -hmm. for free to um, try to save your home. And so that's what that basically means. Okay. Um, and there are, uh, you know, that's another episode or another um, show in show itself. In, itself <laughs> in that um, we are very mindful of that there are many scams out there for those families that are not able to, um, you know, they think that they're, they're going to pay like, uh, they pay like large amounts of money, starting from like anywhere from 900 to 2,500 to these attorney firms out of state who tell them that they can save their homes and help oh. them get loan modifications when in fact they really can't. Oh. We have 10 really great certified housing counseling agencies here in the state and in Newcastle County mm -hmm. that they could go to for free to get those services. That's excellent. So, That's good to know. And uh, what was the first part? I oh, think. and I also wanted to know about Han's uh, view on the American dream of home okay. ownership. Okay, my, um, well, I, I would say that Han's uh, dream um, view yeah. of that is basically that we feel that if you had a diversified neighborhood economically and culturally and um, and yeah and culturally that that to me is the American dream sure. and so one of our premises that, that we feel is that even though you might not be ready to want to buy a house mm -hmm. but you have that American dream then you should come to Housing Opportunities because we have many different other programs to help you to prepare yourself and you know with our action plan Absolutely. to actually uh, realize that dream. But I, I feel that everyone here, you know, at, at the sound of my voice basically, <sighs> if you really want to do that, all you need to do is stay focused and get with people that can help you to get there. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Is there anything you'd like to add before we wrap up? Uh, yes, it's most important that you come out and support uh, Housing Opportunity and this uh, Observance Awards Luncheon. We're also honoring um, our Honorable Jack Markell, and we're mm -hmm. also honoring Ramona Fullman, who is currently the Director of the Division of Human Relations for the State of Delaware. Okay. And all three of them are uh, most esteemed uh, uh, people in our community so um, it's real important the tickets are only $50 mm -hmm. and um, we will take reservations all the way up until uh, the 19th of April which is next Tuesday or Wednesday and what is that what what date and time it's, and location is the event for our, our audience at home okay it's April 22nd mm -hmm. which is next Friday and the time is between 12 and 2 uh, at the Doubletree Hotel, downtown mm -hmm. Wilmington Legal District, <laughs> which, which is located at 700 North King Street, that's okay. Wilmington, Delaware. And if you want to know any more information, mm -hmm. we encourage you to give us a call at 302-429-0794. And we're also on Facebook. Yeah. It's um, with my name first, Gladys Spikes, but then search for Housing Opportunities and you'll get more detail. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in, and I know it's going to be a great event. 
Well, thank you so much for having us. Well, that wraps up this edition of Spotlight. I hope you enjoyed today's show with Gladys Spikes from Housing Opportunities of Northern Delaware. For the NCC TV crew, this is Melody Kitchen. Thank you, as always, for watching. Take care.